So I had a question about how to improve balance for runners, especially fell runners um, who, you know, once the ground gets a little bit softer, improving that balance. Now, balance is an interesting topic and, you know, it's very, very detailed and, you know, it can be a lot of issues that actually cause dysfunctions in balance. But one thing that you can do to give you, you know, give your brain the experience of stabilizing your um, your body weight as your foot hits the floor is to get your body moving as it should when that foot hits the floor and challenge your base of support with some easy, easy movements. So instead of just working on your, your single leg stuff, ideally, if we want to work on balance, the other leg needs to be behind you. Now that's going to bring your pelvis facing this way, okay? And then what happens, just having that leg back will re uh, recreate the pelvic motion then what needs to happen is the, uh, the rib cage needs to go the other way. So if we're balancing on one leg, what we need to do is we need to drive our hand left, okay? So if I'm on my left leg, my left elbow drives this way. There you can see I'm going to get a reaction that's just going to challenge my base of support, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm moving my upper body while balancing on that leg. Very, very effective. Now, another thing that has to happen, a step before that, is as we accept weight on our left leg is our rib cage is gonna be in this position for a brief moment, okay? Just before heel strike, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reach back, or sorry, we're gonna reach across, and then you can see that's challenging me a little bit with our left hand, okay? It's gonna get my glute a little bit, and we're gonna reach as far as we can. Okay, that's gonna drive my pelvis that way, okay, which is absolutely fine, and it's gonna challenge my base of support, brilliant, okay? And then another one, okay, is just reaching down to the floor and back up again. That's going to lengthen my hamstrings a little bit, lengthen my hip, as my foot's going to accept weight on the floor. Another nice one. So about 10 reps of each of these if you want to improve your balance. So it's much, much more effective than just standing on one leg, okay? Because it recreates motions that has to happen as your foot hits the floor, gives your brain that stimulus and experience. Now, if you want to challenge it even more, close your eyes. Okay, so same again, about eight to 10 reps. Okay, this is going to get really challenging for me. Okay, because I've had 10 points last night. I'm only joking. Okay, so we're reaching across, reaching sideways. Okay, really struggling with that, and we're reaching down. Okay, so the ability, we've taken out the eyes now, your brain has to figure out, communicate to the muscles where your body's in space. So that's why it's just a little bit harder when, when the eyes are closed. So if you want to improve your balance for running, give that little routine a try. Very, very effective and a lot, lot more effective than, than just standing on the one leg.